with your AFC Divisional Round Games. I'm Julie Beeler. We'll start with the headliner as the Denver Broncos go to New England to take on the Patriots. Heard about this one? Guys, this is a really fascinating matchup and I don't even have to mention Tim Tebow. It's because of the Patriots' postseason woes. The last three times the Patriots have lost in the postseason, it has come against opponents that they actually beat in the regular season by a combined average of 17 points a game. And then they lost to the same team in the postseason by an average of 10 points a game. If you look at the last two playoff losses at home for the Patriots, you're talking about a loss in 09 to the Ravens, and then last year to the Jets. Two teams that run the ball and rush the passer really well. What do the Broncos do really well? Oh yeah, run the ball and rush the passer. Let's talk about the Broncos pass rush. Against the Steelers, five sacks, including three sacks in the final drive for a loss of 30 yards. So when their defense needed to show up, it did big time. And then you look what the Patriots do poorly. Well, how about give up big passing plays? They give up more big passing plays than anyone else in the NFL. Meanwhile, the Steelers, the best team in the NFL at stopping big passing plays. They'd only given up two plays of 40 yards or more in the air all season long. Except on Sunday, they gave up four against the Broncos. So you do the math. Ultimately, do I think the Patriots lose? No, I think we're talking about one of the most prolific offenses in the NFL with two tight ends that can gash you and Wes Welker, who is almost unstoppable. So I think the Patriots end up with the victory, but would it shock me if the Broncos pulled this off? Not at all. John Fox coached against Bill Belichick in the Super Bowl in 2003. He knows everything he needs to know about the post about taking on the hoodie in the postseason. So uh, ultimately, Patriots move on, but it'll be an excellent game to watch. And then you look at T.J. Yates, also a young quarterback with a penchant for fourth quarter comebacks, heading to Baltimore to take on the number three scoring defense in the NFL. His team does boast the number four scoring defense, however, it's just not enough. The Ravens have given up half as many big running plays and almost half as many receiving touchdowns, which means even Joe Flacco could have a decent game against the, against the Texans. Ultimately, just like in the NFC, I think the AFC sends the top two seeds to the conference championship. Next, we'll talk about who ends up in Indianapolis for the Super Bowl. Glad you could join me. I'm Julie Beeler. We'll talk soon.